So you're thinking of hiring a marketing agency for your HVAC business. If so, this video is for you because right now I'm going to go over everything you need to know before deciding on a marketing agency, what you should be looking for, what questions you should be asking, how much money you should be spending and whether or not a marketing agency is the solution that you're after. So stay tuned, we're gonna go over an entire breakdown and let's get started. All right, so before we begin, let me just quickly introduce myself. My name is Lior Vakni, I'm a business coach and a marketer myself. I've done online marketing and lead generation for local businesses and service businesses for 13, almost 14 years now. What I'm doing right now, you know, over the past few years is I'm a business coach and I'm helping hundreds of service business owners, local business owners, learn how to generate their own leads themselves. And so I'm gonna give you an unbiased, a really fair comparison on what a marketing agency can offer you versus what you can do by yourself, what's the best solution for you, and you're gonna have a full picture and you're gonna leave this video with a very clear understanding of what's the best solution for you, but also what question and what you should be looking for before deciding on one solution or the next. So let's jump into my computer where I'm gonna share with you right now everything that we're gonna go over. All right, so in this little tree um, that I created for you, I, we're basically going over some of the things that a normal marketing agency usually offers and maybe I'll scribble and write a few more things as they come to mind as we go through this video. But this is the type of marketing agency that we're talking right now is mostly focused on what is known as SEO. Now, SEO is usually where a lot of the businesses who are just coming up, they everyone bombards their brain and just tells them, hey, you have to do SEO, you have to do SEO. So that's the first thing that they go before they start spending money on paid ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, and stuff like that. And so this is what we're gonna start off with. But if you stick to the end, I'll go over with you on some of the solutions when it comes to paid ads, whether it's Google ads, Facebook ads, and so on. And so, first of all, a marketing agency, when they approach you and when they take you on, unless they're coming through referrals, they are either looking you up, you know, either they have a list of newly listed businesses or they looked up your Google business profile or whatever it is, but they found you, they reach out to you, and now they're trying to convince you on the services. And so the first pitfall before anything else is the website that they recommend, okay? Now, most of these marketing agency, they'll tell you, okay, let me do you a bundle. I'll create a website for you and I will also um, do the SEO work for you. So let me just quickly, here there are a few things that you as a business owner need to really be careful of. And guys, this is coming from someone who ran marketing agency, but also I've been over the last few years, I've talked to over a thousand business owners, service business owners that have already done whatever service you're in. They're already done it for many years. And I'm sharing with you all these hard learned lessons that I want you to really avoid. And so, with the website, there are a few key elements that you need to remember. Number one is what platform, okay? Platform. Now, the only platform that I would recommend you starting and running your website and your business on would be WordPress. WordPress is the most common website management platform in the world, okay? And the reason for it is A, it's open source, meaning that it's not your proprietary uh, website management platform that your marketing agency is trying to push down your throat, which if you go with their solution and you have no idea at this point, but you're like, okay, whatever they say, I'm clueless, they say it's the best, let me just go with that. That basically binding you to continue to work with them unless you, you know, later down the line, we'll have to change the entire platform. So you don't want to do that. That's number one. So it's open source, meaning that you as a business owner, you own your website where none of these other platform, whether it's Wix, whether it's Squarespace, whether it's um, Shopify, which in a second we'll, we'll, we'll touch on why Shopify is not even relevant, but um, um, you know, there's so many other platforms that people are now like, they're like hype and people are trying to promote but those are all bad solutions because none of them 
you own the website. With the WordPress, it's open source, meaning that you own the website. If you don't like the website with this marketing company, you can take the entire thing and move to another company. You don't like this hosting company, you can take the entire thing and move to another company. And so it's very, very important. And again, you don't have to take my word for it. You can go and search and see that everything I'm saying is true, or even go over some of the content on my channel. You can see on how you can build, get your website built for, on WordPress for less than hundred bucks. I'm trying, I'll try to link it up here um, above this video, but basically it's open source, meaning that you own it. And because it's the most common platform in the world, all the plugins and every feature that you can think of was already built. So you don't need to be a developer. It's very user friendly. And this is key when we're talking about service businesses that are operating. So again, you're not dependent on a marketing agency. If you decide to move on, go with another solution, you can do it. It's your website, full control. You can do whatever you want. Okay. That's number one. So the platform is very, very, very important. If your marketing agency is trying to promote anything but WordPress, that's a big, big red flag. Number two, hosting. Now, this is sort of like, you can think of the, the, the website and the hosting like church and state, right? Like we want to separate these two entities. We don't want them to be together because then would make them basically too strong. And this is why we had the revolutionary war, right? So basically what you want to do is A, you're making sure that the website you're building it on WordPress. If they say no problem, you say, okay, no problem. Let me go and buy the hosting plan and I'll give you access. Okay. So again, you're not dependent on them because I've seen it so many times where the marketing agency has full control over everything. And then there comes a day where you're like, Hey, I've been paying over the last you know, a year, I've been paying $20,000, haven't seen any results. Now it's time for me to do everything on my own, but then they start playing games. No, we can give you access. This is this, this is that. And then you have to start all over from scratch. And so the way to combat it is basically that you are coming with your own hosting and just giving them credentials. Now hosting guys, this is something that costs a few bucks a month. You can go with, you know, cheap solutions such as Bluehost or Hostgator, um, and there are other solutions. If you bought your domain from GoDaddy, they have solutions, whatever it is, but just make sure that you are the owner of everything. Because again, a lot of these people, business owners like you, they went through the, you know, the school of hard knocks and they had to learn the hard way, all these lessons that I'm sharing with you today. So I hope you take it to heart and you actually separate these two things. The hosting you own, the website, if they decide that they, they're, you know, building it for you as part of their plan. Well, awesome, but make sure that it's built on WordPress. Again, there's going to be a video how to do it for less than a hundred bucks, but let's say you're like, okay, I want to go with the marketing agency. I trust them. Awesome. Now, um, another thing that we need to, uh, we need to remember about, but like the, the agency services is like your contract. Now, most of these marketing agency, they will tell you, Hey, we will build the website for you for free. Or they'll try to basically hide the price of the, the website as part of the package where they're trying to bind you into like minimum six to 12 months of working with them. Be very, very careful with this. And again, I recommend you do your due diligence as you're doing right now, watching this YouTube video on learning what's the best route. Now, if you have more knowledge, they feel it, then you have more leverage in the negotiation. Again, if you're like, Oh, you know, this sounds like, um, like too much. I don't want to work with anyone. I want to learn how to do it myself. Great. We can talk about this later, but right now, if you're working or deciding to work with a marketing agency, negotiate the terms, say that you're willing to do a minimum of 90 days, um, like a test run and then do a month to month and then see how the results. Why? Because as you would see, as I'm, I'm going to break down how the entire thing work, like these marketing agency, their job, their main job is just getting you to sign the contract. After that, they usually give you something along, you know, like between like two to four hours a month of work, but you're paying 12 to 25, sometimes even $50,000 a year, just on these management fees. Okay. I'm not talking about all the paid ads, if you're running with them or all these other stuff, just management fees. 
So their biggest thing is just getting you to sign the contract. So again, negotiate the terms. It's very, very, very crucial. Now we talked on the website. Okay. The website would be on WordPress. I'm buying the hosting. Now, what are some of the things that a marketing agency will give you or an SEO agency will give you? Now, these are things that if you're like green, you just started your business or you have no idea, well, you wouldn't even know what to look for. So let's start going over some of the things that we have here. A lot of, let's start with the backlinks. Okay. A lot of these marketing agency will say, Hey, we'll give you backlinks. Now backlinks it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a very broad term. Like backlinks is basically links from other websites that are pointing to your website. Why do they do it? Because it's one of the ranking factors according to Google, but not all backlinks are equal. And so when someone tells you, Hey, I'm going to give you backlinks, you have to ask some more questions. Hey, first of all, how many, the quantity, how many backlinks do you give me every month? Okay. Now is this going to be, let me try to citation. Is this going to be a citation thing? Okay. What is citation? Meaning like, you know, like putting you up on Yelp or whatever it is, where it's like a one-time thing of just like listing your company on all these different platforms, or is it going to come from, you know, from actual websites? Now, if it's going to come from like actual websites, well, which websites are we talking about? Is this like fucking like, you know, Russian websites or like Chinese websites that people are just like using software and I can do like with a click of a button, I can give you a thousand backlinks that will eventually hurt your business. Or are we talking about local backlinks from, you know, like local newspaper and press releases and stuff that are hyper focused and hyper local and super, super relevant for your industry, for your area. And that they're coming from within the paragraph itself. And they're not coming from just like the footer or whatever it is. So there's a lot of information and every part of it is like, it's an entire universe. But if you don't know what to look for, well, they can just tell you, Hey, we're giving you backlinks and you'll be like, okay, awesome backlinks. But a lot of times when business owners join our program, they're like, Oh my God, these guys like this is shit. I have to revoke all this bad backlinks that they sent me because it's actually hurting my ranking. Okay. So you need to get like, ask the tough questions. Hey, what backlinks are you giving me? How much are those like citations where you're doing it the one time thing? If not all these, what's these DR, PR, DA, PA, what's the domain rank? Okay. Like how strong is the domain that it's coming from page rank, meaning how strong is the page that the actual page on the website that this link is coming from to me, the domain authority, the page authority. Those are questions that you need to understand and you need to ask before you're actually uh, uh, getting this marketing agency to do these services or agreeing on the terms. And of course, are we talking about just like any backlinks or we're we talking about something that's very focused into my industry, hyper localized backlinks, um, that are coming to me. Okay. So that's the backlinks part. Now you would hear a lot of these marketing agency again, like they, they differ between, you know, like sometimes they'll charge you like a thousand bucks a month. Sometimes it's 2,500. Sometimes it's like 15% of your overall, you know, marketing budget. What, like there's so many numbers, but let's say, like they, they charge you like a $1,500, which is like the average that we're talking in part of it. They say website optimization. Well, what are we actually talking about when we're talking about optimization? Is this a one time optimization of the content? Meaning that they're taking the content and they're optimizing it. Well, okay. Then what does that mean? That they're breaking it down to a different paragraph, but that's something that you should have been doing when you built the website, if you actually built a website and if not, Okay. What are we talking about? Internal links. How many internal links are you going to do? What is the optimization that you're going to do? Is this just like going into platforms such as chat GPT and telling them, Hey, write me a blog post about this topic in this area. And then chat GPT does it in two seconds or like how much work is actually going to go in into the optimization? How many articles, are you going to produce? How many blog posts are you going to produce every month? And so all these things, I hope you guys are writing this down because all these things are questions that you have to verify because otherwise I saw dozens of very vague contract where it's just optimization, 
backlinks, content management, all these, you know, like slogans and, and, and you know, like th th they're worthless and they mean nothing. So you need to understand what you're actually paying for and what these marketing agency actually offer. Okay, so that's like on the optimization uh, uh, side of things. Then we have content management, where we hear a lot of these uh, a lot of these companies say, okay, we'll do content management. Well, what is this content management? Is this where oftentimes this is what I see, which is like a complete joke, where it's like two blog posts a month, two blog posts a month. What can you do with two blog posts a month? And again, like most of them, like I just explained, they do it with ChatGPT, meaning that they invest in your content creation, maybe 30 minutes a month. What does it mean? Is this just like blog posts on my website? Or are you guys also sharing it onto all my social platforms? Which again, like with softwares and, you know, like people who are in my program know that you can automate all these processes. But okay, let's say that it's shared to all your socials. Is it also shared on your Google business profile as a post? Is this just on site? Are you actually going to you know, take content and put it up on my YouTube channel because you need to understand like you're paying at the end of the day, you're paying for your lack of knowledge. And if you're knowledgeable, like, okay, let me see and break down how many hours of work we're talking about a month to actually justify the cost. And so, okay, if it's with YouTube and social and everything, okay, so that's like a fair amount of hours that I broke down. I understand what the process is. Okay. I can understand. And again, like, again, you, you have now room for negotiation because you actually know what is being done behind the scenes where most business owners don't know. But if it's just like on site two blog posts, AI generated bare minimum work, what like, is it actually worth it or not? Okay. So this is on the content management side. Now, another thing is reputation management. Okay. Now reputation management, what does that actually mean? Again, does it mean that they're just like doing your GMB review response? Okay. That, you know, they, that they see that someone commented on or reviewed your business on your Google business profile, Google, my business, however you want to call it. Um, and they just typing re uh, their answer. And again, in our program, we teach you how to automate it. So you don't need to even need to do this, but how many reviews does a new business like yours get two, three a month, two, three a week, two, three a day. That's like, that's if they haven't automated it, which is insane at 2024, like, like this takes like f two minutes max to write a very detailed response. So what are we talking about? Like 15, 20 minutes a month or an hour a month. Okay. So let's count this in the hour a month that you're billing me. Okay. Or are we talking about like appointment setting? Okay. Do they go on your social media platforms? Do they do appointment setting? Do they help you book appointments? Do they log into all these social media, like other people's comments, you know, engage with them, try to be, bring them to, to book a call, book a free consultation, whatever it is. Cause that's again, that this is something different. This may be worth their pricing because they're actually doing the extra work to help us get more money. So this is just like, and, and again, like guys, this is just like an overview of some of the questions you need to ask before hiring that marketing agency to do your SEO work for you. Now I told you that, okay, this is like the beginning. This is just if you're looking into SEO, but let's say that we're talking about Google ads. Okay. So you're like, okay, no, I have some money. I want to invest into paid ads. I know that's the quickest way for me to start generating leads immediately. Amazing. Well, before anything else, before anything else is the Google ads that this marketing agency going to run. Are they going to do this on your account? Or are they going to do this on their account? Now, one of the biggest mistakes that new business owners make is have this marketing agency run everything on their account. And so what happens then? Six months go by, 12 months go by. You're not seeing great results. You're paying these huge monthly fees to this marketing agency and you want to part ways. You want to go in your own separate way, either change a marketing agency. You want to join your uh, coaching program and learn how to do it to yourself, whatever it is. You have, you have to start off from scratch at this point. Why? Because none of the ads are on your account. You have no visibility. There's no record of the ads. There's nothing. And so this is a big, big, big red flag. And so the right way to do it is that you are creating the Google ads account under your account and make sure by the way, that it's under the same Google account as your Google business profile. Okay. This is a big tip for all of you guys. 
and you're giving them permission. You're giving them, basically, you're adding them as a um, as an account, their email uh, address, so they can run the ad under your account. If they tell you bullshits like, oh, we are, we're using proprietary services, AI, blah, blah, blah. Run, guys, these are scammers. These are scammers. Okay, so make sure that you're doing this under your account. And so another reason why all these companies, and, and especially this is true, if we're talking about Facebook ads, and you'll see a lot of these marketing agencies that will tell you, hey, we will run the ads for you and do the appointment setting and all this for you. They will tell you, no, we can't do this on your account and do this on our account because what they actually do is they don't run anything with your branding on it. They have their own ad, which is performing okay. And now, instead of them creating everything from scratch, all they have to do is basically add your city or your area to that uh, um, to that campaign and now they're starting getting some more leads to you but the thing that you don't know is that all these leads or a lot of these leads are junk and these marketing agencies tell you oh you're paying just per lead, like per booked appointment or per, per booked lead or whatever it is but they book the lead they bring you all these bro keys people who have no money people are just looking for that free or you know very very low cheap offer that they're that they're running and so again, like you're working almost for free, you're paying the marketing agencies, you know, ad cost plus management fees. You're like, oh my God, this doesn't make sense. But the only thing is that you wake up and realize this six months or sometimes even 12 months down the line, which is insane. It's insane. And you know, most business owners like go out of business within the first three years. And so like, you can't really afford to, 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 to go through these mistakes. And this is why I'm sharing with you all this. And so if this marketing agency tells you, hey, no problem, we'll run the ads on your account. You'll have full ownership and we're taking a flat fee. Well, this is a great start. Now, what I would advise you guys to do is to split the cost. Split the cost between the setup fee of the ads and the actual monthly management fee. Why is this? How long do you guys think that it takes to actually set up Google Ads campaigns? Let me help you out. In my program, and we've helped hundreds of service business owners today, three and a half hours from you not knowing how to open up a computer or how Google ads, how you even access Google ads to a point where you have a fully optimized Google ads account, three and a half hours, Facebook ads, less than two. So this is the setup phase. And this is like the, the, the heavy lifting. This is like the, 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 the most intense part of the whole thing. Now, if this is a marketing agency that come, you know, with a lot of testimonial and came through referral and whatnot. Okay, whatever. Like they, they say, let's say they charge you two or three grand just to set things up. Okay, that's a one-time thing, no problem. Go build me the most optimized campaign. But then you can't ask me to pay you $1,500, $2,000, 15% of a budget with a minimum ad spent of you know $10,000 a month, where after this initial stage, after this initial setup, all your work is basically between five minutes a day and 10 minutes a week. Yeah, yeah, you heard it right. This is what marketing agency actually do after this initial setup. And so this is also why I'm telling you that their biggest job, marketing agency is, is all their job is basically sales. Because after this sale is done, they can kick back, relax. They have one account manager for every 20 to 50 accounts. So you're basically getting between two to four hours a month work on your company. And this is if they're actually decent and doing a good job because most of them aren't, but for what? So I don't care, like, let me pay you two, three grand, but then let me pay you two, 300 bucks a month. Now, there's almost no marketing agency that would agree to these terms. Why? Because why would they work almost for free with this smart ass, know-it-all business owner that you are, because you're actually asking question where, where they can work with like clueless, ignorant business owners who don't ask any question, shut up. They give them that, you know, like long ass reports that mean nothing. And they're like too, you know, embarrassed to say, Hey, what does that mean? Because they might feel like they look stupid. So they just run with this marketing agency and they keep telling them, Oh yeah, just take time. You need to be patient and just they put them to sleep for like six to 12 months. And they much prefer to work with this type of client right there with you. So, this is really the landscape, guys. What are you seeing right here? 
this is really the landscape of the marketing agency world let me see if i can zoom out okay this is really the the the, the landscape of the marketing agency world now okay leora i'm i'm great you got me all like frustrated i'm now like experiencing a small anxiety because i understand that i can't trust anyone what's the alternative well the alternative is a that you realize that no one cares about your business the way you do okay that's a fact that's number one number two is that unless you first learn how to master lead generation yourself you could never delegate these things successfully not saying this because i want you to just join my program you can go and find other solutions i don't care but know this this is after speaking to thousands like hundreds and hundreds over like a thousand people i spoke to over the past few years and i'm telling you i haven't met a single business owner who was able to delegate things successfully without him first of all knowing how things work and so that's number two and number three is that there are no shortcuts if you want to succeed if you want to grow your business and you need to understand that this is your job your job is not the actual services that you're providing your job as a business so this is if you were like a contractor or a a you know like a technician or whatever it is but your job as a business owner your job is to generate leads and to sell at first is selling to clients but later on is selling to your team members that will do the selling for you but those are your two main roles and so right now if you're at the point of the in your business where you're looking for a marketing agency and you have no idea how the whole thing works you have to know how to do it yourself and so what i tell you is that this might look like a longer route than you would expect it but if you look at it six twelve months down the line there that there is no other solution whether you join local service mastery or another program whatever it is you have to learn how to do it yourself first then you can take on something that we like to do take on virtual assistants take on people from developing countries such as the philippines you take people from central america or wherever you want and you teach them the maintenance part of it because remember like the setup phase this take you three and a half hours for google ads two hours for facebook ads that's a one-time thing maintenance work okay you teach them the maintenance work Teach them the maintenance work of the SEO. But now we have someone who's dedicated just for the success of your business. It's not someone who's dedicated for 20 to 50 other clients. And it's not just that. They're just like, they want to pay their bills at the end of the day. They're now dealing just with you and they learn everything from you. And they understand that you know everything so they can bullshit you. And they can just like, you know, take you for a ride. And so if this is right now, you're like, okay, this makes sense. Awesome. What are my options? Well, option number one is that you can go the same way that you may, might find this you know, video go on YouTube, research, learn, do, do your research yourself and educate yourself on how to do everything. The, the, the information is there. Or another option is, you know, joining a coaching program, something that we offer where instead of you just spending hours upon hours, just trying to piece things together, where you're joining a coaching program that shows you from a to see how things are done. And then you're like, this is exactly what I need to do, follow step by step. And you're getting all the support, all your questions answered. Everything is helped, you know, and, and guided you. Because again, we have hundreds of business owners to date. And those are really the two options. And then if after you learn, you decide, okay, you know what? I learned, I understand. I would still want to hire a marketing agency. Beautiful, go do it. But you would never do it. Because all of a sudden you'd be like, it just doesn't make sense. Why would I hire someone who would give me four hours a month and charge me 1500 where I can hire and train someone for 400, 500 bucks a month that will work for me six hours a day, five days a week? Why? The math doesn't work. So th this is really my honest, honest opinion. Take this. You can take this video to your marketing agency, confront them with them, ask them to answer your question. Like, see what they say. If they start to stutter, well, you have it. You have it. This is your answer. If they give you a, a very, you know, detailed answer and how they're different, blah, blah, blah. Well, we as human beings, we can smell bullshit from a mile away. If you believe them, awesome, go with them. But if what I'm saying makes sense, well, guys, there's a link underneath this video. Go check out some of the testimonials from business owners just like you. See what they have to say. And if it all makes sense that this is, and you understand that this is the only solution. It's not like, oh, I'm looking for either this or a marketing agency. If, if that's where you're at, don't even reach out, please. Unfortunately, we work with 
business owners who have like this PTSD experience from working with marketing agencies. And so don't even mention on your call that you're contemplating on either this solution or a marketing agency because automatically what I instruct all my sales reps to do is to tell people, hey, I don't think you're ready. Go and work with a marketing agency. Come back in a year, two years after you spent 20, 30, $50,000 with these guys, wasted two years, and you understand that there is no other option. But if you understand that no one cares about your business, marketing and lead generation is your work, is the main focus of your business, awesome. Click the link, book a call, and we look forward to helping you. See you guys here in the next one. Peace.